Now, seeing that it is autumn, it uh, only makes sense to go to coffee shops before or and after work, if that's your thing, if coffee is your thing. While I'm in the lovely city of Spokane, I thought it'd be nice to go to coffee shops and just check it out and uh, all that great stuff. So I'm going to head into one right here. I can't remember what it's called. I think this one's called Cream and Sugar Coffee or Cafe or something. So I'll head into this cafe and we'll see how it is and we'll get some coffee. Let's head in. It almost seems quaint when you're first approaching it, but when you walk inside, you really realize how massive this little shop is, and it actually isn't a little shop. It turns out it's actually an antique store and a coffee shop. That is the best combination. And now that we're here, it's time to order. I went ahead and got a pumpkin spice latte, as I'm pretty sure that is the most autumn drink you can get. Now there is still a whole antique store to explore, so I'll start making my way through and see if I can't find anything unique. Let me just say that this store is nothing but unique. Every little thing is interesting, and on that same subject, there was a pigeon in the kitchen section. I, I think that's pretty unique as well. Now another interesting thing I found were these demon babies, and what was interesting is that there wasn't just one, there were two. One in the kitchen section and one upstairs with the radios and stuff. Now, I don't know what kid would actually want to play with those, but those were horrifying to say the least. Now, I talked to the owner a bit and she said that being an antique store, she had problems with theft. And the interesting thing about that was that it was usually elderly women who stole stuff. And the stuff they stole were cosplay items that were very cheap. She was a lot of fun to talk to and overall I had a great time, but they were about to close, and so I made my way back home. Now, on the way back home, an abandoned building caught my attention. It looks like it came straight out of a horror film. I'm not sure exactly what it was, but it was really cool to see. Just now getting back from the coffee shop slash uh, antique store. It was very cool. I didn't expect it to be what it was, but I don't want to spend too much time talking about it. Do I? I don't know. Because it was an antique store, I had to buy something. Now let me show you what I got. There's no better time to buy gifts than when you when you get to antique shops, you have to buy a gift. Well, at least antique shops make, they sell the best gifts. Now I got this little kimono card thing. I'm not exactly sure what it is or what you do with it, but it looks really cool. And the final, uh, I took a video of this at the shop and it looks so cool. But here it is, and when you open it, so that's that's basically it. Yeah, this is actually made in Japan. It's kind of hard to see because it's not focusing, but made in Japan. Very cool, very cool. This is for my mom. Rating time out of 10. One being the absolute worst and I would never go there again. 10 meaning it was good. But I would rate that a solid 10 out of 10. Without any doubt in my mind, that was 10 out of 10 experience. The coffee maker guy was awesome. The, the, the antiques were awesome. I love how they blended the coffee shop and the antique. Fall feeling, cozy feeling, 100% 10 out of 10. Now let's get on to the next coffee shop tomorrow morning. Now I know I said just coffee shops and uh, I can't pass up sushi. Sushi's just too good to have an opportunity to pass up. Now there's a sushi store just down the road from where I work uh, called Q and QQ Sushi. I walked in there and grabbed the food real quick, but it looks like a really nice place to sit down. It's a shame I couldn't enjoy some time there, but it's not coffee, it's sushi. Let's dive right in. Maybe I'll hit one more shot before I leave Spokane. But I didn't get as many as I wanted to. There was one train diner, like it's a cafe, but it's made out of a train car. I really wanted to go to that one, but it's only open 11 to two or something like that. I work during those hours. There's no way I can go to that one. Really unfortunate. Maybe I'll go there later, but I'll probably hit one more shot before I leave Spokane and uh, probably get me a pumpkin spice. All right, I'll see you there. Just across the road uh, from where I work, 
I don't know if you see it through the rain, but it's a coffee shop called Daily Habit. It's a really nice coffee shop. I usually just walk across the road and uh, get a coffee every day, but today I'm going to go to Starbucks. And uh, I guess I'll rate that against my coffee from Cream and Sugar from uh, just yesterday. But uh, Starbucks it is, let us go to Starbucks. What better time to get a coffee than when it's raining? And it is raining right now. It's fall, it's raining, the leaves are falling. It is the most perfect time to get a coffee. However, the line for Starbucks is at least two miles long. Can I wait for that? Yeah, yeah I can. Coffee's worth it. Starbucks. Oh, that smells good. Um, now we find out if this long line in Starbucks was indeed worth it, but I feel like it is. Here we go. Whoa, that's pretty good. <sighs> All right, now that that's done, I've got one more stop on the way back home. It's a little town. I don't know, there used to be a coffee shop there, but I know it closed down twice. Last time I heard it was closed, we'll drive by it, maybe someone else opened up a shop there, but I'll stop in that little town, see if there's a coffee shop. If not, then this video is going to, to <laughs> it's gonna end, but if, if there is a coffee shop, I'll see you at that coffee shop. All right, here I am in the little town, in the small town. Now the coffee shop I was looking for is, is not here anymore, that's okay. There's a drive-in coffee shop just outside of town, which I'll head to next, and we'll try some autumn flavors there, and we'll see which one out of the three we went to today. Starbucks cream and sugar coffee, or whatever it was called, and uh, that, I don't know what the name of that other coffee shop is, but we'll see which one takes the cake. So far, it's all been 10 out of 10, so. So lastly, I stop at a coffee shop called Hot Shots. Now, when I asked about autumn flavors, the lady there recommended to me what's called a Kentucky Maple which I had never had before. And let me just say, that tastes really, really different. And by different, I mean that in a good way. It tasted very good. Kentucky maple. Maple, that's autumn. And that tastes really good. So far, out of the three places I went to, out of the three coffee shops, it's a 10 out of 10. So which one is the best? Now, in all honesty, Every coffee I got was indeed a 10 out of 10. I think I'd take the local coffees over Starbucks, but overall they were all amazing. That'll pretty much wrap up the video. If you're still here, feel free to tell me what your favorite coffee is so that I can have more options whenever I go get coffee. Thank you all for watching, and until I find a more creative outro, uh, like and please comment and please subscribe, and I'll be around.